Hey guys, so it is Thursday night. Um, I just got off shift maybe like an hour ago. Um, this is my second day shift. Um, so I'm on days this week and next week. And then we're going on vacation to Hawaii. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, so the manager was like, I feel like the turnaround time is just not enough. So I'll just keep you on days. And then when you come back from vacation, um, you'll move to nights. Um, so yesterday was kind of a lot. Like I, so I get three days of orientation. I get a labor day, an anti-day, and a C-section day. And like, that's it. So yesterday I had labor. She was a natural patient. It was her second baby. She's basically, I mean, a Hispanic multip. Um, and like she went pretty quick, like she delivered like before 10. And I didn't have any patient like all day after that, which is like so abnormal for me. I'm like where I'm at. Um, but like I got to watch an intrauterine fetal transfusion. So where they like transfuse the baby with blood, which was really cool. I've never seen that. Um, and like literally that was basically my day. We were supposed to get a transport, but she ended up going to a different hospital. Um, so it was just like the one patient. Today was super overwhelming and I wanted to be like, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, so I forget if I mentioned this, but the hospital that I'm traveling at does not use Epic, which is what I'm used to. Epic is like super user friendly. Um, it just flows so much better. And like, it's what I'm used to. This hospital, like I didn't, so they use Meditech and like CPN, which is like a something perinatal, I don't know, whatever, charting. Um, and I'd heard that Meditech was old, but I didn't realize just how overwhelming and like bad it is. Um, and basically like everything they chart here, it's like double the charting than like what I'm used to. And it's all in different places. Like it doesn't flow like what I'm used to. And so the nurse was like explaining everything. So we were supposed to have a 10 o'clock C-section and ended up getting bumped to like 12 o'clock. But she was like explaining all the charting. And I just was like getting so overwhelmed that I literally felt sick. I was like, I don't want to do this. Like I kind of want to call it quits like already. Um, like I didn't have access to the Pixis. So I had to like rely on her to pull meds. And like the meds that they give before C-sections is like different than what I'm used to giving. And... Um, like it was just a lot, um, like actually in the C-section still a little bit different than like what I'm used to, but it was fine because she was like doing the charting. So what I'm used to is like the charge nurse will come into the C-section with you and either you will circulate and the charge nurse will chart for you or vice versa, or you guys will kind of do a little bit of both. Um, and so she was like doing the charting, like I I would not have known, like it's just so much. Um, and so like recovery was like kind of fine, but there's still like a lot of charting that they do for recovery, which is more than what I do at my hospital. Um, and then after we took that patient to postpartum, it was like 4.30, we got another labor admin um, who had like ruptured. Um, she was like super uncomfortable she wanted to go unmedicated like getting really uncomfortable i was able to get an IV in real quick and i checked her and she was like eight centimeters and she was like i want an epidural and so the nurse that was with me went to go get all the stuff for the epidural while well, i stayed with her and so this hospital they use iphones which is like on top of the charting that's like a whole other thing to get used to and so the patient was like, I have to pee, I have to poop. If a patient is telling you they have to poop and they're like close like that, like eight centimeters, like check them again. So I checked her and she was complete. And so I'm like trying to like coach her and like have her breathe through and her baby was like plus two. So basically like ready to come out. Um, and so I'm like trying to unlock this iPhone. I'm trying to like scroll through and find the nurse that's with me. And I call her, I'm like, hey, she's complete. like." I don't know who else to call, but I need people in here. And so she like called for somebody to grab a delivery table and for somebody to call the provider. Cause I'm like, I don't know who the heck to call. And so everybody came in and like, it was totally fine. 
and like I just feel more comfortable with actual nursing part like taking care of a laboring patient a c-section like all of that the charting I was like like I said I was like I can't I can't do this um but like she helped me with all of like the charting after so I definitely felt better like at the end of the shift so that's just kind of how my day went um tomorrow I am supposed to be doing aunties so antepartum patients um and then that's it that's the end of my orientation I'm gonna drive back home after it's like a little bit of a drive but um I miss my family like I didn't realize just how hard it would be to be away from like my daughter and my husband um and my daughter kind of took it pretty hard but um yeah I just ate some eggs this was supposed to be my breakfast this morning but I literally felt so sick this morning so all I had was orange juice um I'm probably gonna eat something else I'm gonna take my contacts out wash my face um and then take a unisom and just like hang out in bed I'm gonna try and go to sleep by like 9 or 9 30 um like thankfully where I'm staying at the hospital isn't like too far it's like 15 minutes but yeah that's kind of how the first two days of travel nursing has been um I yeah I literally told the manager I was like look I just want to be up front but like I this charting like I don't understand it like I it's a lot I'm not used to meditech like just so it doesn't come up later like wow Marissa sucks at charting or like whatever it's like I can do everything else but like if if I can get like a lot of help with charting like I'll be in a much better place but I was like I just wanted to be up front with you so it's not a surprise later um but yeah I felt a little bit better at the end of the shift so hopefully tomorrow um is better I don't know I'm just so excited to get to go home and see my family tomorrow night and sleep in my own bed um but yeah um four more shifts to get through before Hawaii but I will give you guys another update after um after like tomorrow to like let you really know how it is um everybody's really nice like super helpful so that's good and I'm hoping it's going to be like even more so on night shift because like where I'm at like night shift is like great everybody like chart your strip need help with this like whatever um like I said everybody on day shift is really helpful and like nice um so I'm hoping it's just like more so on night shift like what I'm used to um I am still going to stay PRN at my hospital um, because I want to see all my friends and I do like working there. Um, so PRN at my hospital is four shifts and a call shift in a six week schedule period. So it's kind of a lot. Most weeks I'll be working like four shifts, but it'll be nice to be around people I'm familiar with like that's that's another hard thing is like not working with um like all your friends like not knowing really the people that you're working with yeah I'm just trying to get through these last four day shifts relax go on vacation like this is coming at a perfect time but anyway I will give you guys an update um probably Saturday since I won't be getting home till like late tomorrow night um, but I'll kind of do like a final recap and I'll let you know like the real, the real deal. Um, like travel nurse is appealing because of like the money, obviously, but like it's just a lot. Like the main reason that I'm doing this is so that I can kind of like make more so that I can have, I can take more time off in the summer to be with my daughter. That's like the biggest appeal. Anyway, you guys, um, I will touch base with you in a couple days. Hey guys, so it is Saturday morning now. Um, I came back home last night after my third shift at my travel job. Um, like I mentioned, it was my first week. So I'm just going to kind of recap and give you guys like my thoughts on like how it went, like my final thoughts. Um, so I kind of mentioned that... So I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, and I'm on day shift this week, 
and then next week so sunday monday tuesday because we are going to hawaii um stay tuned those vlogs will be out at some point i'm still getting through my italy vlogs i still have my paris vlogs to get through um and my niece french riviera um vlogs too um but we're super excited about that so i'm kind of like trying to get stuff like ready for that because i'm gonna drive back tuesday night and then like finish throwing stuff in the suitcase and then Wednesday morning, like mid-morning, we're gonna head out to the airport. Um, so anyway, um, overall thoughts. So I mentioned, I think it was Thursday night that that day was like super overwhelming. Um, they do a lot more charting than I'm used to and a lot of it um, is like double charting too. So it's just a lot. Um, and like that particular day, it was a C-section and it was just overwhelming. Not so much like the OR part, like I'm fine with that. Like, yes, they do things a little bit differently, but literally it comes down to the charting, guys. <laughs> um, but yesterday I felt went better. Um, so I mentioned that I get um, a labor day, a C-section day, and an antepartum day. So yesterday was my antepartum day. We had three patients um, and it was pretty good throughout the day. Um, like it was kind of a lot in the beginning, just trying to figure out the flow of things and all of that. Um, and then of course one of our antepartum patients like broke come like five o'clock. Um, and we weren't sure if we were going to be the ones to take her back for C-section or night shift. I asked the nurse, like, what could I have done differently? Like, how did you think today went? And she's like, well, it's just going to take getting used to it's the charting. Like, that's just going to take some time. Um, but I think you'll get it. Um... Yeah, so I am going to be on my own starting tomorrow. I'm hoping that everybody's, like, still just as helpful. Like, they totally have been and, like, you know, nice and all. Um, but honestly, I just can't wait to go to Hawaii. And then when I come back, um, I'll be on night shift. And I don't know how it's going to be here, but, like, at my staff job, the people on nights are just, like even more so helpful. Like day shift can kind of be busy and it can kind of be hard to like get like enough support and help, but night shift in my experience has been better. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, but it definitely was like a very stressful week. I don't know if you guys can see, but I broke out so much from like on my forehead from like just stress. Um, I texted my friend at my staff job who is actually a traveler here um I think she started maybe in February um so she's like over halfway done with her first contract here and I think she's gonna extend but anyway so I texted her I was like hey I have some questions like is it gonna get better like I like to think I'm competent with what I do especially like at my staff job um, like, granted, we take care more so of labors there. Like, it's a revolving door on labor, like, patients all the time. Um, whereas, at this travel job, they're more so geared towards high risk and departum. So, that's kind of new for me. But I was like, I like to think that I'm competent. Like, you know, I'm a good nurse. I don't know. But, like, here, I just feel so thrown off. I have that new grad feeling, and I hate it because I'm not a new grad. Like, I've been doing this for over two years. Um, and like census and acuity where we're at is like pretty high. So I just hate that feeling. And I was like, is this normal? Like if I, should I just not be doing this? Like, I don't know. Like it's one of those things that definitely takes you out of your comfort zone. Um, but she's like, it's totally normal. Like I feel like that the first couple of weeks when I'm at a new place. Um, but it does get better as you kind of get used to things and figure out how they do things. So I'm really, really hoping that that's the case because I just hate that feeling so much. I hate the feeling that like my stomach's turning and like I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Um, Cause yeah, I feel like I've been doing this long enough that like I haven't had that feeling in so long. Not to say that like I think I'm the best at what I do, but it's like I have experience. So the fact that I have this feeling like I just I hate it and I'm one of those people that like overthinks a lot and thinks about what other people are thinking of me and I'm like these people probably think I'm like so incompetent and like I don't know but it's just kind of a lot to get used to and that just kind of comes with traveling so I'm gonna keep you guys updated on how it goes um 
I'm gonna see how often I'm going to be able to get vlogs out. Like I said, I am still staying PRN at my staff job, um, which is gonna equal out to like four shifts a week starting the beginning of April. So we're just gonna kind of see how it goes. But um, yeah, if you guys are interested in kind of seeing how my experience is, I know there's like a lot of travel info and content out there about like nurses who are in med surge or like ICU or ER or something, but I don't feel like there's a lot with labor and delivery, um, but there's definitely still a need for it. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the notification bell so that whenever I do upload either a travel vlog or um, a nursing vlog, you guys can be updated on it and just kind of follow along on my journey. I'm super excited to share this. Um, new journey new experience with you guys so that is it for this video you guys stay tuned and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye guys